Ginger. I am here with another music review. This time it's for the new Don Henley album called Cass County. Now I will tell you I was very surprised, sort of. This is more of a country album. Um, it has 12 songs on the album with country influence, which isn't really... Um, it's not outside of Don Henley's wheelhouse because uh, the Eagles were kind of country. They were part of that California sound that had a lot of country influence. So this album is not only really great and solid, but he has a lot, a lot of guest stars, co-duet singers, you know, people who worked on this album not only sang some sang lead, some sang backup, some played on his uh, records. Now I'll tell you first of all the some of my favorite songs. Overall I really really liked this album a lot. A lot a lot. And I had no expectation because I hadn't heard anything about it. So I liked this a lot. Um, I loved the first song. It was a great great way to open this album. It was called Bramble Rose. And it had Miranda Lambert singing with him. This was almost like a trio because it was Don Henley, Miranda Lambert, and then later on it was, should I tell you, Mick Jagger sang on this too. And Mick Jagger played harmonica on it. It's a really good song. Um, then I really liked the second song. There isn't a song in here that I don't like. Let's put it that way because uh, the second song is called The Cost of Living and it's a duet with Merle Haggard. I mean, come on. Waiting Tables, the fourth one, was really good too. Leanne Womack Jamie John and Jamie Johnson um, were singing part of the harmony vocals on Waiting Tables. I do like that old flame. It's with Martina McBride, a duet with Mart Martina McBride. When I Stop Dreaming is a really good song as well. With Don Henley and Dolly Parton, uh, their voices sound so good together. And of course, I love Dolly Parton. Um, a Younger Man was really good. And Where I Am Now, it's about somebody who um, wouldn't, go, wouldn't go back and change anything about his past, but he wouldn't go back either because he likes who he is now. So he doesn't, he enjoyed his youth, but he's not, he wouldn't go back and live it all over again because he's happy with the person he is now. But he had, um, I mean, it's star studded, the people who worked on this album with him. Uh, Mick Jagger, Miranda Lambert, uh, Merle Haggard, um, Michelle Branch, uh, Jamie Johnson, Leanne Womack, Vince Gill, Gil, Allison Krause, Ashley Monroe, Trisha Yearwood, Lucinda Williams, um, in the song Train in the Distance, Lucinda Williams sings uh, harmony vocals with him, which was really good. And then Trisha Yearwood is on a couple of his songs, and they harmonize very well together. He actually did harmony um, early in her career on Walk Away Joe and was in the music video with her too. This is a really good album. Um, I mean, the, one of the things that I said out loud to myself is on that first um, song with Mick Jagger and Miranda Lambert, I was like, hell of a way to open an album. I mean, it's really great. Um, and I'll tell you, I've been a fan of Don Henley since I was a child. I, you know, my dad had Eagles records and... Uh, his voice and Eagles music and things like that it really can put me in a better mood. So I really, really enjoyed this. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, Don Henley, Cass County. I think the next one I'm going to review, since we're kind of getting close to Christmas, I think I'm going to review uh, the, the new one that uh, from Elvis. Not that he recorded anything new or anything like that, but the new album by Elvis Presley 
Uh, it's called If I Can Dream, Elvis Presley with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. It's pretty, pretty it's probably pretty dang good. It's probably like a no-brainer, but <laughs> anyway, so this will be the next one that you'll see uh, in the video next week. So be sure to come back um, and check out this one next week. And then also, I still have the new um, Harry Connick Jr. that I'm going to do in a couple of weeks. And the uh, new Darlene Love one that I'm going to do in a couple of weeks. And I have a mess of um, new CDs that should be coming in next week. So you'll be seeing more stuff. Um, I ordered, what did I order? I ordered a new Bette Midler. Um, what else? I can't remember. New Bette Midler. That one I can remember for sure. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so there's going to be plenty to come in the future. So don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these reviews. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can come back and sit for a spell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.